Okay, so let's say this. Is it time to rethink it or is it time to let it go? Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for VH1's Family Reunion. This is the Love and Hip Hop edition. It's season two, episode three. Now listen, we had, in this episode, we had a divorce party, <laughs> okay? We had a divorce party, and then we had what I'm going to say is second thoughts. Safari showed up. We all know Safari has shown up. And I think that our friend Safari is having some second thoughts. See, Erica then filed for divorce. But for some reason, I don't feel like Safari is ready. Or he's, he's rethinking, do I really want to let my marriage go? A lot of tears, a lot of, you know. A lot of interesting, interesting stuff. And a lot of things came out. Whereas if you had been watching Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, it looked like Safari, you know, he didn't care about this. He didn't care about that. He was just off doing whatever. Well, he's trying to tell us now that basically he was getting a raw deal. He was getting the bad edit. And he was there a lot of times when they were saying that he wasn't there where Erica's in the hospital saying that he's not here, he was in Miami doing this, that thing, and the other, and saying that he got the bad edit. Now, we don't know what to believe, but we do know Erica. We do know Erica, and we're watching Erica on here. Erica's attitude is rough. But see, again, I don't know who to believe because her attitude is rough is true, but is she scorned from the things that we saw and she just at the end of her wick with you and your bull? Or was that the Erica Mena of it all? Because see, Erica Mena has a way of doing things. So I'm curious as to what that was. But he was doing a whole lot of crime whole lot of crying in this episode. Anyway, Mimi and Safari talked. She got him together right away. Boom, boom, boom. They're st still down on the beach. Got him together. He just showed up, told him, listen, this is what, what needs to do. Y'all got to figure out a way to stop disrespecting one another and how to raise these children and be there for these children. But first off, y'all got to stop disrespecting each other, stop embarrassing each other out in the public. Just stop it. He listened to Mimi. And it's the one thing that I did notice about Safari through this time. Safari has a lot of respect for some of the older castmates. He does, and he does listen when they talk to him. He went right on up to Erica, and Erica, he approached her. She completely blew him off. She completely blew him off. I'm like, okay, this could actually, you know, go somewhere. They can really get some dialogue going right here. It was given, er, and she blew him off. She did. Told him, you know, let's just learn how to co-parent and go a bunch of business. I said, wow. So later on at the divorce party, he come in again. Now, this time, they're all talking to him like all the, all the guys were there before any of the girls got there. And the guys were talking to him. He breaking down, crying and carrying on. But they talking to him, saying, you know, it's this, that thing and the other. You know, you know, they're giving him some pep talk. So he's pretty ready. You know, he's pretty ready. Mimi and them, a couple of girls show up. Erica shows up. And then they're, they're, they're thing is they don't act like no married couple. They act like they hate each other. They're not talking to each other and stuff. Not even speaking to each other. Ridiculous. But anyway, he sees her sitting. He goes over and talks to her. He done went over there, poured his little heart out, telling her he loved her. He's sorry. Blah, 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 blah. She was still with the old cold shoulder. And then she eventually broke into, like, hugging him and consoling him. I'm going to tell you what I think. 
I think she's mad about some things. I think she's justified to being mad about some things. I don't know about the bad at it. You know, I don't really go in for the bad at it. The, the, love and hip hop can only give you really what you give them to work with. So I'm not going to really buy into you got the bad at it. You were showing your ass. You were. You were. From the moment that you all kind of got to this thing of saying, you know, um, we ain't together. You went, you immediately jumped into acting like you weren't together with nobody. That don't work. That don't work. So I can't really buy into your, you got the bad edit thing, Safari, as much as I like you. But at the same time, you tapped into that other Erica. See, that other Erica not nice either, so I'm not going to give her no pass either. That other Erica is a mean, nasty bitch. She is. That's the Erica that gives you all this and shuts you down and ain't trying to hear it and blowing you off. But you kind of ushered that Erica in. So, and you had to know that she existed. But whatever. So, on both of them, I'm just I'm kind of looking at y'all both crazy. But my thing is with this whole, when she started consulting him and all of that, that's for camera. That's for cameras. I truly feel personally that Erica is done with Safari. She don't want him. She don't want the marriage. She's over it. She's completely over it. But she knows how to play this game. And she's not going to have you. The way you looking real crazy on camera and everybody got you as the bad guy, she's going to lock that on you. She's going to keep her heel on your neck. You will be the bad guy. And she will win. Because that's what she does. That's how I feel. And I feel like she only started consoling you because it hit her like, shit, these cameras is rolling. I gotta play this game with him. Or else she would have kept on digging that hill in your back. That's just how I feel. Y'all tell me in the comments how y'all feel. But I feel like Erica got you over the couch, baby. You bent up and the grease is already being applied. And it's just going to be downhill from here. But we'll see. Whatever. And then as soon as it don't be going her way, you know, she starts to cry. When they were down they earlier in the day, when they tried to have, they tried to put y'all together, y'all have a little conversation. That was just painful to watch. She started screaming and yelling, calling them all kind of deadbeat and, and talking real bad to you. Made you look real, she embarrassed him really, really bad. Really, really bad earlier in the day really really bad she set up for what happened in the evening she had beat him all the way down to the lowest common denominator everybody was looking at him like he was crazy like oh you ain't shit and they were saying wait why is she using words like that abandonment and this that it. she knew what she was doing she gave you the bad at it if there was one to be given anyway was what it was Let's go on over here. I told y'all I was going to talk about uh, Cisco and Amina. Now, Amina and Cisco start having this conversation. See, I ain't know the ins and outs because we didn't see a lot of this with their little thing. You two, y'all deserve each other. He feels like Amina used him in a lot of different situations, like two or three different situations. Amina used him. And it looks that way. It looks that way. You know, she 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 wanted to get back at Peter. She definitely used you for that. Um, I feel like you're both lying. Both of you. Neither one of you are to be trusted. Here we go. We get ready to drink, honey. Neither one of you two are to be trusted. I think you're lying. And you all are both trying to convince each other that nothing happened. That's what y'all trying to do. Talking to Jamaica. We made out. You know what? Cisco gives me this. And if I'm wrong, if I ever find that I'm wrong, I'll take it back. But I don't think I'm wrong. 
I'm really willing at this point to bet money that Cisco and Amina, I don't think she did it to him, but I think Cisco did everything to Amina other than penetrate her. Because he gives me that. Old, big, old, nasty. I believe he slurped her box, had he? And that's what she said. It wasn't that much. To, it was just making now. I don't think she put her mouth on him. And I don't believe she let him penetrate her. But I believe she let him eat her up like a parfait. I said it. Neither one of you are to be trusted. He is your husband's best friend. Brother, if you will. It was a trampy little thing to do. And I believe you all did it. Both of you. And I believe given the chance to do it again, you'll do it again because she even sat up and, and I think she'll go all the way this time. She made reference to, oh no, I'm not going to mess with this. So even though you're getting a divorce, you've gotten divorce from Peter, you're still considering screwing around with Cisco to what? Because you don't like him. Just to further get at Peter for things that he did in the past. That's, that, ain't, that ain't cute. That ain't cute. But anyway. Anyway. Rich is still scoping around for Erica. He making jokes about what she get done. Does it say something about Safari crying? Or say, yeah, when he get done crying, I mean, I'll take her right on up here. I, I said, you a dirty dog. But that's the creep squad. That's what they give. Let's talk about this 70 divorce party. The party went off without a hitch. It really went well. So they had a lot of fun. Child Rich looked hilarious. He had this fake, like he had the afro with the, the big chop chop. Sad burns and all, just a mess. It was a whole mess. But the thing that was funny was he had this chest hair piece. It looked like a whole t-shirt. Is what it was just a mess. I said, oh, it was a mess. But their their outfit. Mimi was sharp. Mimi was sharp. Mimi had Zulu knots, four of them at the top with her braids hanging in the back. Had this. It was very Cleopatra Jones. Very Cleopatra Jones. With the uh, thigh high, beautiful red, um, beautiful orange, um, Lord, blue, royal blue. That's the color I'm looking for. Royal, it's late, y'all. Listen, it's late at night. It's four o'clock in the morning. I'm doing this dog on um, four o'clock my time. These royal blue thigh high boots, bad, 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 bad. She was clean. Mimi was clean. I loved it. Very clear, Patrick Jones. Um, the party just went off wild hitch. It really did. Um, everything was said, was said, everything that, uh, they're getting a divorce. All parties involved were happy with the way things were and everything's grand and everything's great. Um, Safari continued crying. Erica's tapped out. They end up moving past that. They all got drunk and they was having a great time. Shekinah's bitter ass is still running around and going to say, I just don't understand this. People having a, a divorce party and this is supposed to be a family reunion. Let me explain something to you, Shekinah. And I don't know why you don't know this. What's going on around you is they are celebrating Dysfunction. Welcome to Love and Hip Hop. Love and Hip Hop is a celebration of dysfunction. Now hush, and I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Later, y'all.